Hi everyone, my name is Ashley and I'm a library assistant here at the Haywood County Public Library. In this video, we are going to be painting on a larger canvas. If you were able to join us for our last video, you know that we painted on two mini canvases. Some of these bags are still available at the Waynesville branch. Just call and ask for the small canvases along with the big, larger canvases for this week. Just like in the last video, step one is finding a good place to paint and protecting the surface. Now that our surface is protected, let's cover our clothes and let's gather our supplies. Here's what came included in your library kit. A canvas, two brushes, one has a more flat tip, one is a bit more pointed. I will be using different brushes. Get your paper towels or a rag, get some water and your paints. Our paints today are going to be blue, green, white, and black. Yours might come in a different container than this, but that's okay. Here are examples of what we'll be painting. Take a screenshot or look up similar pictures to get an idea of how you want to lay out your seascape. Notice the background. Some are swirled or starburst with light coming from the center. Here is an example on the mini canvases of a swirled and starburst background. In this video, I will paint a swirled background. Please note some parts of this video is sped up and you can pause it at any time. We're going to start off with our flat tip brush and we're going to paint our entire canvas blue but leave a white circle in the middle. Here, I added just a dab of black around the edges of the canvas to make the water a more dark blue. Add more blue to the middle of your canvas. Keep in mind the center will be more white. As you go further out, you will have darker blue. Pay attention to where you want your light source to be coming from. That's where the water will be more of a light blue. Add some white where you want your light source to be coming from and then blend evenly. We'll focus on adding some highlights in the water later, but for now, work on your blue. After you feel like your background is finished, get some black and paint all four sides of the canvas. Using your pointed tip brush, get some black and make an outline around the canvas of the corals and seascape. Now fill in with black. Use some blue as shading and highlights to the water. 
We'll also be using white as well as green, and you can mix green and white if you want a more light green effect. If you're painting a starburst effect as the background, start from the center and go outwards. Just make streaks. Here I'm adding rays of light, like the starburst effect. You don't have to add this to your canvas if you don't want to. Now begin painting the coral and seaweed. You can add as little or as much as you want. Now we're going to start painting the turtle. You can have one or two. Start off with the basic shape and it helps to look at a picture as you paint. If there's anything you don't like about your painting, remember, you can only move forwards, you can't move backwards. It takes lots of practice. Here I'm adding some white around the turtle and the plants. You can even highlight the plants if you want them to visually pop. I added just a little bit of green in the plants as well. Now add your name in the bottom right hand corner. If you like, you can even highlight the turtle as well. Now you're done. Just leave your painting to dry. Thank you for painting along with me and watching this video. I hope you all had fun. If you enjoyed the music, it was entitled Dreaming by Prod Lee. 
Don't forget to check out the library's website so you can keep up with all of our online programming.